Got a great question from Matt Hughes. What about paying YouTube to advertise your videos? Is it effective? If you have a little bit of budget to spend promoting your videos, Google Ads is a popular choice because for a little bit of money, you can get a lot more eyeballs on your content and hopefully grow your channel. But is this the best way to use your budget to grow your channel? and? reach more people? Well, let's, today let's talk about some of the data behind some of those campaigns and talk about some strategies that you can implement with paid campaigns, as well as maybe some other ways to spend your money that actually might actually work out a little better for you. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators Here. We are all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their lives. And to answer this question overall, generally speaking, my opinion, no. Using paid campaigns to grow your channel is not a good use of your money. And there's a few reasons why. Number one, most creators assume that their, um, their content is amazing and that the only thing that's really holding them back is exposure. And I have found that after working with like over a thousand creators that that is pretty much never the case. YouTube search and discovery systems actually want to promote your videos. They want to promote your content and they're looking for videos that people respond well to. So just dumping a bunch of money to pay to promote it and get exposure on it doesn't like automatically make your content start performing better just because you're getting more eyeballs on it. Number two, Google Ads isn't really designed for promoting YouTube channels. It's mostly designed for getting a conversion off of YouTube, getting the viewer onto a landing page for an email address or a sign up or a transaction of some kind. Obviously, you can promote your videos with Google Ads, but if your goal is to grow your subscribership overall, I found that generally speaking, there's no good way to track this, but about 1% of the subscribers you actually pay for will become ongoing viewers who will engage with future videos on your channel. So you can do it, but it's probably one of the most expensive ways to grow your channel. At the end of this video, I wanna share with you guys some other tactics and strategies that I would use to grow your channel that I think would be better use of your resources and your money. But if you wanna do paid campaigns, let me give you a few strategies that might actually help make that more effective for you. First, promote a video that's already performing well for you. That way, when you put the money behind it, you know that you're going to be more likely to get your return on it. Now, I would only pay to promote that as an in-display ad. That means putting it at the top of the suggested videos on the right sidebar on a desktop computer on YouTube. That way, someone needs to click on it to actually watch the video. And when that happens, it's a little, typically a little bit more of an engaged viewer, which means that if they convert into a subscriber, they're probably more likely to become a more active active subscriber on your channel down the road, as opposed to someone who just passively subscribed because it was an in-stream ad right in front of them and they just kind of saw it and didn't know what to do, so they click subscribe to get it out of their face. Second, consider using a Google ad campaign to, instead of growing your YouTube channel, grow your email list instead. Maybe you can give away like a free info product or a free course or a free download of some, some kind in order for people to sign up for your email. Google's ad system is designed better for getting people off of YouTube to sign up for something. And so then you can grow your email list with that ad campaign instead, and then use that email list to send them your videos when you publish each one. And you can stay in touch with them with other information and content besides just videos on your YouTube channel. Third, if your channel has enough traffic already, consider doing primarily remarketing campaigns. Now what remarketing ad is, it lets you follow people around the internet after they've watched one of your videos. And there's a lot you can do with Google ads with this. But maybe, for example, you say, show this ad only to people who have watched three of my videos before in the past 30 days, but did not subscribe. That way you know that they're potentially more of a warm lead and they'd be more likely to re-engage them and get them to subscribe because they've already had contact with you and your channel and they're already a little bit familiar with who you are from previous videos that they've watched. Now there's another strategy that I'm going to be experimenting with here on my channel with the goal of re-engaging passive subscribers. So I have series coming up on my channel. One of them you've already seen is called How They Got One Million YouTube Subscribers. And we cut like a 60 second trailer for that whole se that whole season and we're going to run it as a remarketing campaign on YouTube promoting it only to subscribers who have not watched a current video of mine in the past 30 days 
We're hoping that by doing that, we can reintroduce our video creators brand, this new series to those older subscribers and see how it converts in getting them to re-engage and viewing that new series. Now, unfortunately, there's not like a lot of great ways to track the goals that we have for that type of campaign in Google Ads, but I think we're just gonna look for how this thing gains traction overall and just kind of do like a gut level feeling, unfortunately. I also have a series coming up next year that I'm gonna pay to do a campaign behind that will hopefully engage current active subscribers. And so we're putting a lot of resources into this series. I'm really excited for it. Gonna cut another 60 second trailer and gonna run it for a few weeks, I think, to really try to gain momentum, a lot of energy and excitement for the series before it launches with my current base. So that ad will only go to current subscribers on my channel who have who have watched the video in the past 30 days. And I wanna see if, if I can really get that current audience really excited and build a lot of hype so that when I launch this series, it launches with a bang and a lot of energy. Now, if you have some promotional money to spend on your channel, I recommend that there's a few other ways that would probably be a better investment for you that would have a bigger bang for your buck in the long term. And the first one is I would recommend that you fly out to another creator who shares your same target audience and do a collaboration with that person. Not only will you build a relationship with that creator that can pay off in huge dividends down the road, but also you're getting like the fastest quick shot in the arm of new subscribers and new exposure from that other creator's audience. Second, I would suggest that instead of just assuming that your content strategy is solid and that your videos are amazing, maybe spend the money to get into a consultation session with me or someone from my team where we can sit down look at your videos and really help you to put us plan in place for helping you reach those goals in that next level on YouTube we'd love to sit down with you talk about your channel and your goals give you feedback and develop a plan that really help you take that next level I have found that when people invest into their channel strategy overall it usually pays off much bigger long in the long term long road down down the <laughs> I had it. I have found that people who invest into their YouTube strategy, typically, you know, in the short term, it's a lot of work and it's a slow grow. But in the long term, those are the people who exponentially beat the competition because they're not growing just a volatile channel with quick spikes of viewership here and there, but they're investing into a strategy that's gonna to continue to work now and build momentum as the channel grows. If you're interested in working with me or someone from my team, you'll find a link in the description below that goes to videocreators.com where you can book a session with one of us. We'd love to do that with you. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like I have worked with thousands of creators. Many of them have multi-million subscriber channels and not once have any of them, have I heard any of them say, Tim, you know what? The main way I just grew to 1 million subscribers was by paid campaigns. I haven't heard that once, not from one of them. So I'm not saying it's wrong or it's bad, but I'm saying that channel strategy and intentionality and like that pays off much better in the long run. It really just comes down to making videos that people want to see and getting the watch time and the engagement and everything that you need to really grow a strong channel. Now, if you wanna know behind the scenes secrets of what some of these top creators are doing to really grow their channels fast, click this video you see right here. It's a short playlist that will go in deep detail about all, behind the scenes of a lot of these channels and seeing what they're doing so that you can replicate some of the same results that they have. So subscribe here and I'll see you guys over in those next videos.